If the rhythm is atrial fibrillation or flutter, for rate just 100 to 120, oral metoprolol or deltaism instant release can be tried unless the patient is in PO. Now for rate above 120, IV metoprolol 5 milligram or 2.5 milligram or 5 milligram or deltaism 20 milligram IV push can be tried. If no response within 15 to 20 minutes, a second dose of metoprolol 5 milligram or deltaism this time 25 milligram, we can try that. Now deltaism drip or ismolol drip should be considered after the second dose if inadequate response. Loading with the digoxin can be tried if the blood pressure is soft or there is inadequate response particularly in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Amiodarone bolus and drip is a good option if no response to the previous measures or if the blood pressure is too soft to start metoprolol or deltaism or in critically ill patients. Please don't forget to correct any volume depletion otherwise hypotension will develop quickly once we give this medication and the rate will be hard to control. Remember that deltaism should be avoided in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. The proper dosing of deltaism is 0.25 mg per kg for the first dose and the second dose 0.35 mg per kg and this will be roughly 20 mg for the first dose and 25 milligram for the second dose. A regular white complex tachycardia with a rate above 200 raises the suspicion of atrial fibrillation with WPW. If a regular white complex tachycardia is suspected, avoid all the AV blocking agents and amiodarone. Here, procainamide is the drug of choice for irregular white complex tachycardia. Ibutilide is a second line if procainamide cannot be used or inadequate response.